Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about concertmasters. What exactly is the role of a concertmaster in an orchestra? What are his duties? Stick around to find out. A big shout out to the All Types of Violinist Discord server and its members for asking this question. Now let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. First job of every concertmaster is to coordinate the bowings in all of the string section. Now this is a very tedious job, and that is probably why a lot of concertmasters don't actually do this pre-rehearsal. In my ideal orchestra, the first rehearsal would be just the conductor, the concertmaster, and the principals just all sitting down together discussing bowings and actually how the conductor wants to get things done. Now this could save a lot of headaches and problems down the road, because we all know that bowing just changes so often that it's very hard to keep track of. The second role of a concertmaster is to lead the first violin section. This is most often done through nonverbal communication, like with a little bump just showing when people need to come in, because a lot of people don't count. If you're one of those people who actually count in an orchestra and they're not a principal or a concertmaster, then go have a cookie. You deserve it. Or just with face expression, just showing how things should be done. Or just places on the bow, because certain techniques need to be played on certain places on the bow. Role number three. The concertmaster has to be this connection between the conductor and the orchestra. There are a lot of guest conductors. So conductors just come and go without even having the chance to get the orchestra very well. Now this is where the concertmaster steps in and actually can make the conductor's life so much easier. When the conductor expresses his opinion and wants things to be done in a certain way, it is the concertmaster's job to realize the technical aspect of it. Or for example, if the conductor is turned to the basses or the celli for some reason, and then the first violinists have to play the melody together with the woodwinds, and I feel that we are not exactly together, then I would just turn my head a little bit, just to draw the attention of everybody behind me, to know that they need to pay more attention to me and to the woodwinds, so that we can play the part perfectly together. Now these are very small stuff, but they do add up on top of each other. So it can make the difference between a decent orchestra and a very good orchestra. Last but not least, role number four. The most expected one. Playing the violin solos. Now this is not as flashy as it sounds. Because people do say that concertmasters need to be constantly ready 24-7 to just be ready to jump in to save the situation. And probably that's why some concertmasters actually feel like superheroes, like Superman or Batman, just getting in there, saving the day. But nowadays it's not like this anymore. Big and developed orchestras have more than one concertmaster, and every one of them has a certain number of projects that they have to play, and things usually go according to plan. So force majors like that happen very rarely, but sometimes they do. Wait, does that make me Batman? Oh wait, cut, cut. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. These were all the roles that I could think of right now. And if you think that I forgot something, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Ciao!